Hey, I'm Allison with Travel Girl, and this is my friend Jackie. And Hi. today, she is going to show us her 10 minute easy circuit workout that you can do anywhere. Anywhere you want. All you need is a plate. So you can grab any kind of plate you want. Did you give me a smaller one because um, <laughs> no, I'm not I, skilled in this workout yet? No, I gave you, <laughs> I'm just showing you guys two different options that you can still get great results. Um, it just depends on whatever weight you want to use. You can still get great results with a lighter weight. Um, or you can use, if you're up for a, a challenge, you can use a heavier weight. Whatever, both are great. Um, and then you also need, also there's only one of them. <laughs> okay. Um, and then you just need some dumbbells. So you can do, you could use a five pound, you could use 10 pound, you can use 20 or 25 pound, it doesn't matter. Do something that you're comfortable with that isn't gonna strain your muscles too much. You should be using a weight though that you can feel. Okay. You should be able to feel it. If it's too easy, you may wanna up your weight a little bit. When I say up your weight, maybe by five to 10 pounds. All right. If it's too easy. So that's that. We are gonna go through a 10 minute circuit of sit-ups, lunges, uh, back lunges with the dumbbells, and then squats with the plates. And we're gonna do three sets of those as many times as we can on a 10 minute cap. So what are we, that means we are working on, we're doing an ab workout because we're doing sit-ups. Um, when you're doing your lunges, your core should be engaged the entire time. And since we're doing a back lunge, um, you wanna come down gently on your knee without putting your knee, your forward foot, your forward knee, without putting your front knee above your foot. Um, and then we're gonna do that on the opposite leg. And then when you are doing a squat, you want to make sure your legs are a little more than hip width apart, shoulder length apart. And when you come down, you want your neck to be in line, your spine to be in line with everything. You don't want any of this bad on the back and you don't want to be looking down or looking up too high. Everything should be aligned. And then you're gonna come straight up and squeeze your glutes. You ready, okay. girl? Couple variations of sit-ups that we can do for the first part. Sit down with me, Al. You can do your regular sit-up like this. Making sure those shoulder blades are coming off the ground. Am I doing it right? You are doing it right. Uh, you want to keep your, pick a spot and don't let your neck kind of like move away from it. Keep your neck, you want to keep your neck balanced. Kind of hit that same spot. So pick a spot and stay there with it. That's there smoother. you go. There you go. So there's one option of sit-ups. Or we can kind of can do this. We're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna spring all the way up, making sure our shoulder blades are coming over our feet. So that is a great uh, alternative ab. Uh, that's an alternative sit-up that you can do. And then for the third one, we call these dead bugs. So a dead bug, you're gonna go all the way back on your back, hands up in the air, legs up in the air, and we're gonna alternate with our leg and arm. Am I doing this right? I'm a little like uh, dyslexic, but with my legs. <laughs> hold on, wait, I can't tell. Yes, no, it's right. Yeah, and then you're gonna slowly, slowly come up so Ooh, that, that you can really feel that core. Yeah. Same thing on the opposite leg. Gonna go all the way down with that leg, opposite arm all the way back. Slowly bring that up, really feel that in your core. So you can choose either one of those three demonstrations for your ab workout. All right, plated, the plated squats, those are really only done one way. And the same thing for our back lunge, pretty straightforward. Okay, I think I'm ready to start. You ready to do? All right, let's, let's give this it. a go. So we are gonna set our timer for 10 minutes to start our workout. We got our clock set, perfect. Okay, we're gonna start with abs. And 10, you wanna cut us off? I'm 10 ready. abs. Okay, and ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, now we're gonna go into our 10 squats. 
Got your plated weight. Okay. All right. Squeeze those glutes on the way out. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten back lunges. Okay. Squeeze in each hand. Get yourself a good balanced grip. Right, and, and here we go. One. Straight up. Alternate legs. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. Great. Can you do that for ten minutes? Okay. Travel girl, thank you for having me. How do you oh, feel? Thank you for being here. Oh my gosh. You that feel good? Was, I don't <laughs> Good. No, I'm glad you enjoyed so it. Hard. It, was, it was great. I hope you guys had fun too and that you can try it at home. Absolutely. When you're doing it at home, like I said uh, in the in the demonstration, if the weight is too easy for you, if you don't feel it after 10 minutes, maybe for the next time try increasing your weight. Try increasing it by five pounds, or if you want maybe 10 pounds. You want to be able to feel something when you are coming up and you're squeezing those glutes in your squat, and you want to still feel something when you're doing that back lunge. Your hamstring should be a little bit, or your hamstring's feeling I'm tired. good. I, they, okay. feel, they feel good, but I feel tired. All right, well, thanks for having me, girl. Thanks. thanks for joining us. See you later. Bye. Bye.